If you thought that first round was a dog fight, <laughs> bruh, I can't wait to see what these semis have in store. What's going on? I'm the Kid Gowie and welcome to another episode of Run It Back. After their temporary protest, the NBA players decided to get like the title of this show and run it back. Dallas, OKC, and Utah have all been eliminated from playoff contention, which means that only eight teams remain. The Boston Celtics and the Miami Heat both have two wins over their opponents in the East semifinals. The LA Clippers are set to face off against an exhausted Denver Nuggets. We play Thursday? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, we literally just played. Like, Jamal Murray didn't even get a chance to think about rest. And the Los Angeles Lakers will be facing off against the Houston Rockets. It's about damn time. The Lakers been off the court so long, they practically had a mini vacation. But anyway, if you thought that first round was a dog fight, <laughs> bruh, I can't wait to see what these semis have in store. Giannis Antetokounmpo and Brandon Ingram were both named NBA award winners. Giannis walked away with the Defensive Player of the Year award, which some people feel is controversial. Is this your game? Some people feel like Anthony Davis from the Los Angeles Lakers was robbed. And I'm not here to take sides. I'm just going to say one thing that we're not going to do is pretend like Giannis isn't a dog on the defensive end of the ball. Giannis is easily one of the best two-way players in the NBA alongside Kawhi Leonard and Anthony Davis. So if somebody's going to be robbed of the Defensive Player of the Year award, at least it's somebody that actually makes sense. I mean, if we being honest, if anybody got robbed of Defensive Player of the Year, it's Rudy Gobert. That man didn't shut down the whole... I, <laughs> I'm not going to go there. Brandon Ingram walked away with the Most Improved Player Award. I've been telling people for years that LA culture is different, bro. Kobe Bryant set an unrealistic standard for every single young guy that steps on that Lakers floor. Laker Nation is only going to give your ass about one season to develop. After that one season, if you don't look like a franchise player, they're going to have your name in more rumors than TMZ. D'Angelo Russell went through it, and Brandon Ingram went through it. And look at them now. Both became NBA All-Stars the moment they took off that purple and gold. Like that saying goes, one team's trash is another team's treasure. And last but not least, with this final story, I want to give a shout out to Donovan Mitchell and Luka Doncic. In my personal opinion, both of these men were the hungriest players in the NBA playoffs. I mean, Donovan Mitchell was making the Nuggets look like chicken nuggets the way he was feasting on. And Luka the Don was letting LA know, your name may be the Clippers, but he's the one that's cut different. <laughs> you get it? Cut different Clippers, you know. So I'm not even gonna lie, watching those two guys go home was very unfortunate. And I know, in these professional leagues, there's no such thing as participation trophies. But the least we can give them is our respect. 